Imagine you live in a house not built with bricks or concrete, but out of a structure created through the interaction between plants and robots, with the help from some sensors, LEDs and computers. Such a house would take 40 years to grow, but biologists, computer scientists, robotics researchers and architects are already working on its foundations. Scientists from a European research project are studying how robots and plants can interact to build architectural structures, a futuristic vision of hybrid symbiosis whose mechanisms are just starting to be understood. The plants are attracted by blue lights. Each small robot has six LEDs. By producing blue light, they attract the plants, and they can define the plant's growth in certain directions. The robots can also sense that the plants are approaching, and then they can communicate between themselves, making another robot emit blue light to attract the plants in another direction. On the other hand, the robot can take additional sensor data out of the plants. If the plant is a bit older, the robot can sit on the plants when they have a woody structure, and the robots can observe everything from there. Researchers want to find the right conditions for robots and plants to cooperate to form self-organizing, self-growing structures where people could eventually live. A key issue is how to teach robots to grow structures independently. We take natural plants as a reference point. Plants grow as they move towards the light. We want to know if we can repeat this same behavior with the use of robots. We want robots to assemble together in order to coordinate autonomously among themselves to build up structures directed towards the light. It's here in Copenhagen that architects are looking for ways to turn those hybrid robot plant structures into living spaces. And some ideas are already popping up. How can this research create new architectural spaces? We're working with braid systems. They are a method of construction that can allow a continuity of construction. We can just simply keep braiding or unbraiding we can connect across very easily. We can go from a series of columns to actually defining a roof. Architects are even anticipating whether such structures could be manufactured in cost-efficient ways. So they are studying how to automatically shape very different patterns with various materials. This is also glass fiber. One, 32 members of filaments of, of glass fiber rods. And it's, um, to illustrate some of the dynamic properties, it's, it can really change its shape quite a lot um, and become all kind of flat and collapsible. Scientists say automated urban gardens and living spaces based on these hybrid robot plant structures could become a reality in 20 or 30 years.